Hey Tauruses, it is time for your quick love check-in. I'm going to do a quick love check-in for Taurus uh, singles. Of course, this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with everyone, but take what you need and leave the rest. So let's see, Taurus, what we have for your love life. Taurus singles. Spirit, show us what Taurus singles need to know now. Okay, so Taurus, one of the first things that your angels and guides want you to know is they understand that sometimes finances and career take precedent. So you might be worried about money before you're thinking about a relationship. But at the same time, they want you to keep an open mind. Like for some reason, um, I think it's disappointments from the past has made you feel like you couldn't get everything that you wanted when you wanted it. But they're saying that's not really true. You can have try to get more light you can have you can have what you want and what you need like you don't have to sacrifice um they also want you to know it's going to be safe for you to love but what they want you to do is actually be in real love first like don't tie yourself to somebody who is not the one like this isn't about making somebody fit if they don't fit, they don't fit. You drop them. If they don't fit, they don't fit. This is not a try to make it work situation. This is if they don't fit, they don't fit. But what they want you to do is express your love, express who you are. Like Tauruses are some of the biggest flirts. So they want you to use that flirt energy. They want you to use that playfulness, that playfulness that's you. They want you to take some time for yourself. They want you to maybe plan a getaway or a retreat. Even though we know we're in the COVID, you can still do daycation, staycation, short trips. Just be safe when you're traveling or moving about because they're saying right now you're in a time where we're, they're helping you call in your soul mate. So they want you to get the right person, just not a right now person. Taurus singles. Um... And Taurus might have a tendency to attach themselves to the wrong person. So they're like, get out of denial. Don't lie to yourself. You got This is a time where you got to absolutely be 100% honest with yourself. And all you have to do is say, does this person make me feel good about myself? Yes or no? And if you feel light, that's a yes. If you feel heavy, that's a no. Do they make me feel good about myself? Do they make me feel valued? Yes or no? Do they value me? Yes or no? If it feels light, that's a yes. If it feels heavy, that's a no. Because your angels and guys don't want you to keep attaching yourself to people who are less than you deserve. And they want you to stop um, wasting your time in that way. Um, just exactly what I was talking about, right? The card for boundaries popped out. It says you need to teach people how to treat you by being clear on what you will or won't allow. So you can't be with somebody who you're allowing them to walk all over you and then get mad because they're not treating you like a queen or a king. You got to be able to set the boundaries. That's why they're saying pay attention to the red flags. Because if somebody's not going to honor your boundaries, they're not going to be the person for you. And you do not need to waste time, especially the season that we're in. We're tying up the end of the year. It's a perfect time for you to fall in love. Because I'm talking as a single tar Tauruses, right? It says... Open yourself to others. Now, sometimes you can be closed off, but it says as you open yourself to others, that's how you'll create new friendships and attract a love relationship because it's not even about just love, Tauruses. Y'all need some more good friends, like good friends who are about you. Um, Somebody from the past may come back, but again, pay attention to the flags. Have they changed? Are they honoring your boundaries? If not, then the answer is no. No, we can't get back together. What am I getting back to? Because they're like, open your eyes. When somebody shows you who they are, believe them. So when that person comes back, don't lie to yourself. Be honest. No, you don't make me feel good about myself. Yes, you make me feel heavy. Yes, you mess with my self-esteem. Which is why that is a no. Why? Because new love is coming. The separation from that old person was totally what you needed because you needed to be able to step back from the situation to see if they actually have healed and grown or if they're the same. Um, they're saying, be patient. Things are unfolding. 
um, your love, your person, the connection is definitely worth waiting for. These are just the things that you have to do. You got to set your boundaries. Um, okay, Taurus, this was just a quick check-in. If you want further information or if you need more clarification, book your own personal session because this was just general. But also remember these boundaries. They're there for a reason. You can have what you want. Use your natural energy. Flirt. Have a good time. Don't be so serious. But don't be a doormat either. Okay, loves, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.